All right, let's get back to it. This literally has nothing in it. This literally has a few drops in it. I don't know why I tried to do that, uh, but let's just get to the video. All right, so I've been using Robinhood Investing for a very long time now, so it's safe to say I kind of learned the trick of the trade. I got a lot of it down, and I really know the insides and outs of the application itself. Now, a few things I picked up along the way were a few different methods to be making passive income in the Robinhood app, and today in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is the three methods that I personally use to make passive income here within the Robinhood application. It's very, very solid. I'll give you a complete breakdown of all the different methods, and then discuss a little bit more about my portfolio, my structure, me as an investor. But first, if you guys are new to this channel or you're a returning member, one of the 96% of you that isn't subscribed, I'd like to urge you to subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notification. I post a ton of stock related content. I share with you guys my tips, tricks, and insight into the stock market. And I give you guys my breakdown on each move that I make with investing, growing wealth. And uh, it's a really great personal finance channel if that's something that interests you. All right, so right off the bat, what I want to cover for you guys is the Robinhood Challenge. Basically, what I do with the Robinhood Challenge is I invest $100 every single week and I share with you guys my exact moves and kind of cover what's been going on with my portfolio. So on the day, I've made $130. We've been absolutely cranking lately. Over the past week, we are up $45. Over the past month, we're up 6.38%, $587. Over the past three months, $482. And over the past year, we are up $700 now. My goal for the end of 2020 was to get this portfolio to be valued around $10,000. Looks like we are on track. We're going to exceed that by uh, a few hundred dollars. Right now, we're at around $9,800. I'm really excited. When I hit 10,000, I will do a complete overview of every single stock, why I'm investing them in my portfolio. I'll give you a 100% overview into all of my investments. So if you're wondering, you want to stick around for that, just make sure you stay tuned for the future here. So the very first method I want to touch upon for passive income here on this app, and I I say passive, it's not necessarily that passive, but I still think everybody can do it. It's inviting your friends to use Robinhood. I get I get money just passively from being a YouTuber, just talking about Robinhood all the time. One of the videos takes off and you get a bunch of people that sign up for Robinhood. So I do make passive money when people use my referral code. So here's the thing, before I open any of these, I just wanna say I am very grateful for everybody who signs up using my referral code. But at the end of the day, the real thing that I take away from people using my referral code isn't what you might think. You might think, hey, he's just in it for the monetary gain, but I wanna just express that that's not necessarily what the case is. What I really like seeing is a lot of these people signing up for the Robinhood app and reaching out to me afterwards, reaching out to my Instagram or my Twitter, and they say, hey man, you really kinda of changed the way I thought about money management. You've, you've inspired me to start investing and get a rein on my financial future. That's the type of stuff that is so much more rewarding to me than any type of financial gain that I'm receiving here. So at the end of the day, my biggest takeaway when somebody signs up using my referral code, I like to think that I'm in a way impacting and changing the future financial status for this person. Now let's hope that I'm inspiring people and, and being able to help you generate wealth in a positive manner. Uh, as long as you kind of take your investments seriously, you're not just making huge gambles, risky investments, and you're actually looking at the types of moves that you make, which is exactly what I talk about on this channel. So again, I'm really, really grateful for everybody who signs up using my referral code. But at the end of the day, that's not the exact goal that I have. So anyways, as this is one of the forms of what I like to call passive income, and again, it's not necessarily passive where I've built up this plethora of videos. All of these kind of have my referral code in the description of them. It, it, it took a lot of work, but I think even regardless of if I had a little bit of a following online or not, I'd be able to get some of my friends interested enough in investing where they would be able to sign up and I would benefit a little bit from that money. They would benefit as well. So the Yes, it's a little bit less passive for most people, but again, I think it's very achievable for a lot. So let me drill in and start opening these. I believe I have four of them today. So I'm gonna go ahead, pick the right-hand side here, scribble this off. And I got PSEC, a little prospect capital at $5.34. If you didn't know, these stocks could be valued anywhere between, I believe, $5 and $500. I've seen it go a little bit less. Uh, I'm hoping for, you know, a little Tesla stock or something. We'll see. I'm gonna go on the left-hand side here scribble this off and we got limelight networks i don't think i've ever got this one four dollars and 28 cents you can see that dips a little bit below the five dollars obviously i'm not going to complain again it's free money really appreciate you signing up using the code now this one i believe is from yeeson thank you for signing up again i'm going to go right in the middle and scratch this one off and another limelight networks 
So there's another, let's, let's just round up $5, even though it's a lot less. Um, we got Monica here. Monica, thank you for signing up. Let's scratch this off. And we got C-O-T-Y, $6.81. And just like that, those are the four free stocks that I got today. So if you think about it, about $20 for just, you know, sitting here sharing the link to my Robinhood account. And it's really awesome. I feel like every week I have one or two of these roll in. So it's been very solid. Robinhood does actually cap out the amount you can make from this though. I think it's around $500 in a calendar year, but uh, I'll have to look that up as well. So anyways, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the type of investment style that I am, that I have ultimately just leads into more passive income. So the passive income I'm talking about and the style of investor I am that I'm talking about is a dividend investor. And if you don't really know how that works, essentially when a company is really successful and they, they make enough money, they can, they can actually pay back their shareholders for holding their stocks. Now, a lot of companies will roll this back in and try and uh, grow their own company. So for example, Amazon does not pay a dividend as of right now. Now that's not saying that they couldn't declare a special dividend or start announcing dividends in the future. But as of right now, what Amazon does is they take their profits, they roll it back in. You can see it reflected in the stock price as well as the growth that the company has. So they have more, I guess, freedom over that type of money that's coming in. Whereas a lot of these companies that have been established for a long time, they really back themselves on being able to pay a dividend to its investors, to have people entice them to stay investing with them, to stay in the market. And even why I love uh, dividend investing is that even in times of economic downturn, even when the market may not be doing as hot, they still, they adjust their dividends, they try and keep them on track and they entice new investors to come in. So ultimately, I think a lot of dividend stocks, even when the market's going down, they may not go down as low as other stocks. And especially if you are careful and particular about the investments you choose, you're gonna be way better off. So for example, SPHD is my biggest holding. This is an ETF. It focuses on high dividend, low volatility stocks. I talk about this in pretty much all my videos because yes, it is my very favorite investment. But if I scroll down and I look at the history of this, I go to show more and I look at just dividends alone. You can see this is what I'm rolling in right now. I get around $8 dollars and 30 cents every single month. And you can see steadily it's increased with the amount of shares that I've been holding. So originally it started with $3, went up four, five, seven, eight, and you know, so on and so forth. This is going to continue to increase as I invest more in SPHD. Now this is recurring. It comes in every single month. I never have to think twice about it. And keep in mind, this is just one of the holdings in my portfolio. I do this with pretty much all of them aside from Tesla and Amazon in this particular stock portfolio. Here's what I do. You can see SPHD. PhD, if you look, it says reinvested. So anytime that I am paid these dividends, I don't do anything else with them other than reinvest back into different companies. I reinvest a lot of them back into the same exact company because it actually is a lot easier for me. It automatically does it. I don't have to think about going into the app. I don't have to think about when the dividend pay dates are. I just know the money is going to roll right in. A lot of people might be thinking, hey, that might not be a great idea because what if the stock price is really high right now? You get paid a dividend. You don't necessarily want it to go back into that ETF that stock when it's at such a high price. But to me, it doesn't really matter. I'm such a long-term investor. I'm going to be getting in at prices that are too high for some of these. I'm going to be getting in at prices that are really, really low for these. So I don't like to think about it. I just like to think my money is getting put to use. If I can invest it, keep it in the market, it's going to grow over time. So dividends is very solid. Let me just drill into another one here that I can show you. This is realty income. Realty income is also monthly dividend paying. So if I go into the history, I can't find it for some reason, but if I drill into the history, here um, and just look at some of the dividends they're paying. You can, you can see this is an extra $3 every single month. So just from these two holdings right here, I get over $10, around $12 every single month. I don't even have to think about, that's just money in my pocket. Where I started before, I was getting literally nothing. I didn't really know much about dividend investing. That, it's just one of the reasons why I really love dividend investing. So if you just think about it, you look through some of my stock holdings in my portfolio, most of these are going to be paying dividends and that's the exact style that I love. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is the third way that I make passive income. And it's actually not recognized, obviously, until I sell a stock, but that's just capital gain. So if I drill in, um, let's drill into Tesla, for example. Now, this is one that I'm holding for growth. I wanted a share of Tesla and I bought them before the stock split. You can see right now I'm up 12% on them. They've been absolutely roaring. They've been tearing through the market lately, doing extremely well. And obviously, I'm very satisfied with how this investment is going right now. But even if Tesla were to drop, I'd probably be picking up more of them. And as they go up, I guarantee that I'm going to be adding some to my portfolio as well. So here's the thing with Tesla. When I look at them, this is one that I have playing for the very long term. I'm going to sell it way 
way, way off in the future. And I don't know, who knows? Maybe they'll go through more stock splits. This position could turn into a really great position in the future, but really there's no telling as of right now. The thing with Tesla is that a lot of people are valuing it for the way out future. They're overvaluing it. They feel like it's going to grow a ton. And honestly, like the price it's at right now doesn't really reflect the stage that the company is actually in. So it's interesting. It's one of the riskier moves that I make and one that I don't necessarily like bringing up all that much on this channel because it kind of goes against what I'm talking about. But anyways, this is another way that I'm making passive income because as this sits here, this money obviously is going to grow. So you can see the market value right now is $1,042. My average cost is $462. So with way less money put in than what I'm actually getting returned on this, if I were to sell this today, I would make $117.08. Now I'd have to pay some tax on the sale of the stock because there is such a thing as capital gains tax, but that's a whole nother topic for another video. So at the end of the day, it's very straightforward. It's really easy to start building up these passive income methods on the Robinhood app. If you guys have any questions for me, if you have any questions about investing in general, leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to every single one of you. Thank you so much for checking out this video today. And let me know, what do you think of the quality of this video? Just got a new camera testing out some new settings. I'd be interested in hearing from you guys. Thanks for checking out this channel. And for the 96% of you who watch these videos and aren't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button, man. Come on, what are you doing?